Hey, Deb. Hey, Rex. Hey, Deb. Hi, Hi Deb. Hey, Deb. Hey. All right, Deb, come here. See out here. I'm gonna get down here. Here we go. I mean, you can get taller. You see the screen, don't mm -hmm. you? No, I mean, he's like real. Damn it, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> Deb, I, I heard some news. Mm-hmm. We haven't talked about it. Mm -mm. What's What's up, Deb? I I had to reassess my priorities. Yeah. Um, so I've got some family things that I need to attend to, and um, my dad particularly has been in the hospital. So what I hear you saying is you're leaving. I know. Don't make me cry. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I just have one thing to say. Damn it. And while there is a bit of a height thing to begin with, that does get better very quickly. Yes, Daniel, for the people who uh, haven't been in Patreon, they may not know who Deb is. Who, who is the Deb to so us? So Deb is and has been the original head distiller at Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company. Uh, since we first started making our own whiskey, Deb was the one who was making it. She's OGMB. Yeah. <laughs> um, mostly behind the scenes. Everybody that's in a Patreon sees her pretty regularly in the lenses and stuff that pops up. So. Yeah, if anybody at any time has ever taken a tour and gotten to sample some of the stuff that we made and not just sourced, then you've tasted the whiskey that Deb made. And if anybody has ever been watching an episode and you hear a bunch of noises in the background, yeah, then that's, that's Deb's plugging away on the equipment on the stills there. It's darker in here, but it's also cooler. It smells bourbony. So Deb came to a conclusion that um, what she is needing right now is different than what the distillery is needing. And we totally get it and we understand because quite frankly, the same moment that her life is shifting gears in a very big way, for mm -hmm. personal reasons, we won't get into that, the needs of the distillery are shifting gears. All of this is about to be completely gutted and transformed into the new distillation room Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company, we're going to have a still that is, what is it, 10, not 10 times as big, it's like five times as big, five times 25, I can't do math. He's in charge of our bookkeeping. Yeah, <laughs> it's five times, it's five times. Sorry, I had to carry the one and more of the, anyway. So the still's gonna be 500% bigger, voted on mm -hmm. and funded by the MBs in the Patreon because this is the world's first crowdsourced whiskey distillery and they are the reason why any of this exists. But that building that we started off with, our our um, basically our foothold into the whiskey making scene. Right. We outgrew that before the building was done. Oh yeah, we were still doing construction and it was like, wow, shit. But when uh, we moved it over to here, one of the things that's happening is that we're actually gonna be able to fill out the production schedule. Yeah. Right, and that was one of the things that made Deb go, you know what, guys, you need somebody doing this 100% of the time. With more equipment, with the bigger still, with us taking the entirety of this building, this what you see is only, it's like less than half of the building. Yeah. On the other half of this wall is a whole another two thirds of the building that we're taking over for barrel storage, for fermentation, for experiments, for blending stations. That means a lot of big changes and small changes for Crowded Barrel that everyone's gonna get to hear about. But the important thing is we're not really losing Deb. She's still gonna be, even more importantly, consulting with us to make sure that the level of whiskey stays the level of whiskey that we make in the future. Emma has been working right alongside Deb and everything that Deb has been dialing in. Emma and John are gonna be stepping into that role. Whether or not they're the full-time people or we end up hiring somebody yeah, it else. it could be a do. transition thing, but. Oh. oh, hey, check this out, look. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rex. <laughs> Is it my that interesting? Get out of my face! Why are we waiting? For you. Oh, for me! You're here! I'm here! Are you mooching, Barbie? Yes. <laughs> Smoke ring hanging out. Daniel for dibs. Goodbye, thank you, barbecue. We yeah. gotta bring in the best. That's right, we do. Who did so, we bring in here? We brought in Keith from Keith's Barbecue. And this is the moist right here. This is the moist end. <laughs> So oh, little, that's the stuff. A little moist, lean top. There you go. So is there a technique to slicing this the correct way? All the way across the grain. So you see the way the grain's running. 
So you want to go across. Yeah. And then if you notice where this came from is right here. You have to flip the grain over because the grain changes. Okay. And that just makes it uh, more tender? More tender, yeah. I've been talking long enough. <laughs> Let's fill up a damn plate already. That's a, that's a little that. thing for you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You'll have that jiggle in a minute. You know, uh -huh. you, you know what I like. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, what do you got going? You got a cookie? What do you say? Hey, your friends. Your friends are over there? Yeah. Okay. You want to go see your friends? Yes. Did you guys plan this out? We did. Totally did. We call each other every morning. Every morning. <laughs> so, so what are you wearing? Yeah. Yeah. You look beautiful, Alex. Yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Emma, um, you've been you've been dabbling in the distillation in the process with Deb there. How's that going? Yes, it went really well. She was teaching me how to distill single mom, and I learned a ton from Deb. Because with the new equipment, the whole new level of production in toys I and whatnot, know. is it is it nerve wracking? Are you excited? What's going on? I've been talking with John, and we've been throwing ideas around, and I feel very confident that Deb has left her distillery in good hands with us. Yeah, yeah. We've always been limited to the speed with which we can get through projects. How does that change and improve now that we're getting set up with gear that is a lot bigger than what we had? So what used to take us eight distillation days for single mom will now take us two days on the new still. We have all this time between when we're making single mom now that it's kind of like, all right, now what? What are we gonna work on now? More projects, more votes, more decision points, more experiments. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm a little sad to see her go, Yeah. but I am also excited about what's to come. Mm -hmm. It's time really? for, that was not a good lead in. There wasn't. It's time for. I'll tell you guys, you know what it's time for. Do you know how to do this, Deb? I it's time so. for. Bullshit or legit! Uh, the final installment of our community game that is sponsored by the Smooth Ambler. Big thanks to the Smooth Ambler who uh, who have been uh, helping us do this community game. They stepped up, and sponsored this stuff, and the reason why we're very comfortable bringing in uh, bringing them in as a sponsor is damn good whiskey. Yeah, it got a uh, a gold medal, the World Whiskey Awards. World whiskey Awards. And it got a ninety uh, by the Whiskey Advocate and a ninety six by. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate Spirits Challenge. Now, Deb, you know how to play. You know how to play the bullshit or legit here. Mm -hmm. I have yep. supposed to poll the community. Mm -hmm. Instead, Daniel and I are going to be throwing our own trivia questions at you, fast and furious. Deb, mm. there's a lot on the line here. A new car. You're not getting a new car. <laughs> Why is it always about the cars? Why did you, you suggested she's getting a new car? It's the cars. Is there a car? No, it's no cars. Okay. I'm just, I'm just... First question, Deb. First question was, <clears throat> did you in fact fight? Let's say you, Daniel. I think she fought for a friend. Oh, that's interesting. Usually, I would have to disagree with you and correct you. Yeah. But I would also have to agree that, yeah, you, you fought for a friend. Deb, what say you? Did you fight? I fought for a friend. Ah! Oh, you got it right! So, now here's here's the situation. The the good people at Smooth Ambler, they've been very generous with the gifts. Mm -hmm. And we have been intentionally trying to get people to lose. Yeah. We've been hoarding the gifts. We have. Until now. The most important gift from my personal collection. From <laughs> This is Mordok the Benzite. This is box fresh. Box can, fresh, Dan. Can you breathe in me? It's not real. Question number two, Deb. Did you steal? Daniel, what's here? Did you steal your lover's heart? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to agree. Daniel, he's he's rarely right, but a broken clock is still right twice a day. I believe Deb, you did in fact steal your lover's heart. Deb, what's say you? That is legit. I did steal my lover's heart. Mm. Oh, you got it again! That's legit! Oh wait, hold on. Yay! Oh wait. Alex, oh, yeah. 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 it's a little late. It's smooth Ambler head. Oh, here's another one. Can you, you give There's her two smooth? Give her some Ambler. Hats. Here's some oh, more. That's a red one. That's don't. Nice. <laughs> oh, here. Okay. Here's. Wait. Okay. 
You got a There's shirt? There's a shirt. Oh boy. Here's another, Here's another one. Oh my goodness. You got that. It's, Thank uh, you. Here's another. Oh. Smear the amber. Here we go. Can you see? You okay? Final question, Deb. This one's for all the biscuits. And <laughs> this hand blown decanter. What do we know about the decanter, Daniel? It's hand blown. Hand blown! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't know if the decanter for this final episode is enough to cut it. I think we're gonna have to drop in some more. I think so. Swag of Smooth Ambler that we were hoarding the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some Smooth Ambler and the leather wow. bound it's a thing. Rocks glass. Rocks glass with leather. With leather. Ooh. The Smooth Ambler. Fancy. Crystal cut. There's a lot of Glen Cairns. And then. And there's more? <laughs> no, there's Is there a car? <laughs> Don't be greedy, Dad. Is there a car? Don't be still, greedy. still asking for the car. Smooth Ambler car! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Final question, Deb. How did you whisk it? Daniel, what say you? I say she whiskied with magnificence, Deb. Damn it, Daniel, I'm gonna have to agree. How did you whisk it? With magnificence! Yes! Woo! Cheers, Deb. Cheers! I just wooed. Mm. You're a woo girl. <laughs> you made it all this time without being a woo girl. Yeah, I'm this sorry. was what it took. Woohoo! It turns out. <laughs> Here, let me take care of that for you. Big thanks to Smooth Ambler for sponsoring this community game. It's been a hell of a run. We really like those guys. If you haven't yet, it is actually really nice bourbon. So yeah. check it out, Deb. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's the fog awesome. of ultimate victory. It's not. Do you feel the? It somehow made it hotter. <laughs> but look at your winnings. Wow. I. Uh, Again, need a wheelbarrow. <laughs> or car. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, Deb. <laughs> 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 we have a URL, crowdedbarrelwhiskey.com forward slash Deb. If you go there, there's a form that will let you put in your name and any comments and well wishes that you want to give to Deb. We're going to collect all of those at the end of a chunk of time and put them in a book.